I'd like to read a poem by somebody else, please. Oh. Um, tonight's guest is, is Benny Jo Zarl, and then we've got lovely host Kieran King, but there's, there's, there's nothing from the third member of the Working Verse Collective. I happen to know Mr. Dave Viney is on holiday, um, so I thought I'd read you one of his poems, if I may. Is that all right? Some people don't like poems, do they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are they thinking? So Dave finally wrote a poem about performing poems to people who don't like poems. <laughs> and this is called The Proper Bloke's Last Stand. And if you've not met Dave Viney, he's like this. And if you've not worked this out by now, I'm like this. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know how this poem will translate. <laughs> Let's find out! <laughs> The proper bloke's last stand. Why are you here? That's the line of the poem, I'm not asking you. Why are you here? This is a poetry slam. Maybe you thought it was a metaphor for cage fighting bards. I begin at a disadvantage. You've already started the clock on your 60 second building project. Yeah, you smile, but behind those eyes a team of eager realists, quick build a water, keep out malfunctioning words. Busy with trowels and mortar, a mixer, two parts disinterest, four parts discomfort spinning behind them. You call a break, hold tools. Hold up, lads. This one seems like a proper bloke. Watches football, plays football, likes a pint and grew up on the same streets we did. Thick skinned and thankful for the shrewd eyes in the back of his bruised head. But he ponces around with words, boss. Moulds them into fancy rhymes. Puts lipstick on them and asks them to whisper in our ears. Makes them sound less Loki. Words should be A to Z, A to B, B and Q. <laughs> Work resumes and I try to throw a nostalgia shaped spanner into your works, but it's too late. The wall is finished and your attention has called it a day. Sounding not quite as blokey as I'd like, I attempt to salvage something of our performer audience relationship. Look, I wouldn't normally do this, but if you make you feel any better, I will punch you in the face. 